So uh, I have the honor of singing uh, in both choirs, uh, Keystone State Boy Choir and the Bucks County Choral Society. Uh, the Keystone State Boy Choir is the only choir in the world to have sung on all seven continents. Um, I sang in Norway with the choir a few years ago. This December I'm going to Chile and Peru with the choir. Um, the choir has been all over the world. We sing a wide variety of cultural music and I'm so happy to share it with my home county, Bucks County, and I'm also excited to um, begin to learn uh, new songs with the Bucks County Choral Society uh, from different parts of the world because there are thousands of cultures in the world and by singing as much music as I can in a wide variety of groups I can get uh, a few more of these cultures under my belt uh, in the choral setting. And with the Keystone Boy Choir, uh, they have traveled around the world. Every year they go on trips and bring back music from those countries. And so they'll be performing a set of music primarily from South Africa, where Steve Fisher has taught over many, many years and brought choirs. Um, they'll also be singing with us in a number of different pieces, including in Hebrew, uh, the second movement of the Chichester Psalms with one of their soloists. Uh, we don't know exactly who that will be yet, but uh, no matter who it is, we know it will be wonderful. Um, and I also have a number of pieces that I brought from trips that I've taken to various places that are not published here and are not heard in the United States, uh, one from Turkey and one from Ghana in particular that are really wonderful songs, but that are not uh, heard otherwise because they're not published. I guess every language is different and it has its own sounds and different consonants and everything. So um, like uh, when we're learning a new piece, mm -hmm. basically our um, choir director he'll run us through the text and make sure we pronounce it all right and uh, yeah. something to do with recommending us for our first ACDA appearance in Philadelphia, that major snowstorm. Not that he knew it was us, but I, I think he was on the panel and was delighted to find out that, uh, that it was us and, and that was thrilling in a lot of ways, um, including the snowstorm of the century, of course, as fate would have it, uh, when you finally make it into ACDA. And we've really been friends ever since. He's just an amazing musician, an amazing person, and when he invited us on the program, we were thrilled. Also, the world music component, um, you know, we pride ourselves in doing all kinds of music at the Keystone State Boy Choir, but certainly we are committed to world music. So we'll be doing an Islam chant, and we'll be doing a Native American um, prayer, a, a Brazilian piece, and some South African, and also, in the Western tradition, Chichester Psalms, the second movement, of course, the boy choir solo is one of the great boy choir solos in the entire canon. So when a boy choir is asked to do Chichester, we jump at it. Although this is the first time anybody's asked us. And we have a group of eight sopranos, you know, uh, you've heard of the three tenors, we have eight sopranos, and they're all vying for it because no matter your age or your experience, you hear that solo once and you just know that it's glorious. challenging because I live in New Jersey so it's 
a little bit of hype here. So I have to learn to study at the right time or do my homework at the right time. For example, today I, I always have I end up staying up late on Wednesdays because I have homework left over since I don't get a good chunk of time to do it. So it's definitely challenging at some time sometimes, but it's rewarding. So we decided to do a program of music from around the world because in the last 20 years or so there's been an explosion of choral singing and choral music coming out into the international realm uh, through international festivals, uh, through the internet uh, and its ability to convey live performances by videos. So there's a lot of excitement around choral music being something that can unify us. And so I thought it would be a great occasion to have a, a choral concert uh, devoted just to exploring music from around the world. 